Okay, we have seven members present. At this time, could we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, this is a special uh, meeting of council to consider and take action potentially on a collective bargaining agreement. Uh, the way it's going to work is we'll open the floor for public comment and then we'll get into the agenda. We have one resident signed up to speak, uh, Joseph Barbano. Thank you very much. If you could please come up with the microphone and state your name and address for the record. My name is Joseph Barbano. I'm at 2743 Bethel Crest Drive. Um, I'm speaking on behalf of the Teamsters. Uh, I believe that this meeting is out of order at this time because I think we have a long way to go in negotiations. I think that the contract should be negotiated at the table, not in a public forum. And that's all I have to say. Thank you very much. Are there any other residents who would like to speak? Hearing none, I will turn to the agenda and uh, just want to turn to Mr. McTiernan to talk about kind of the overview of the process we've gone through with the uh, contract negotiations. Yes, uh, Mr. Meyer, I'll just give a brief review of the process we were involved in. Uh, we received from Teamsters 205, which represents a bargaining unit made up of public works employees, plant employees, dispatchers, clerical employees, uh, and of all non-law enforcement within the borough a group of proposals and submissions dated September 13th. Uh, there were three pages of proposals. Among them were the basic across the board wage proposal of $5 an hour for the first year of the contract, $1.50 for the second year, and then a dollar for each of the final years, which constituted a 20% increase for the first year, and then a more than 30% overall over the life of the agreement. Well, we anticipated that this would be an issue for bargaining. We didn't have a meeting on November the 8th, at which time we made the municipality's initial proposal, expecting to enter into negotiations on all the issues. And in addition to the wages, the Teamsters presented a very long array of other benefits improvements they were proposing, including improvements in the pension and other items. So we made our first proposal. We received no counterproposal on the wages. So we scheduled another meeting, and we met on the 29th of November. And again, we received no counterproposal to our initial proposal from the Teamsters local. So we did something very unusual. Uh, we made a second proposal to see if we could encourage the people at the table on the other side of the table to enter into negotiations with the municipality and see if we could reach a resolution. Again, no uh, counterproposal was received. So we scheduled a third meeting. We met on December 13th. The union did make a slight reduction in its second year wage proposal, but it was still $5 for the first year, a dollar for the second year, and then a dollar and a dollar for each of the final years. Still a contract proposal of 20% the first year and some 30% over the life of the agreement. At that point, it was pretty clear that negotiations were fruitless. We asked the mediator. We have an appointed state neutral mediator. We said, please, will you, we will meet at your call at any time. So it was obvious we were ready and willing to meet at any time to continue the discussions. We heard nothing from the union. We heard nothing from the mediator. So that left us in a position, and I've been involved in bargaining, and the manager and I are both on the team. I've been involved in bargaining with this local for many, many years. We've, we've had some tough bargaining, but we've never had a situation like this where really no bargaining took place. So we're coming up on the expiration of the contract tomorrow at midnight when the employees will not have a contract to work on her. We've had no meaningful bargaining. So uh, Mr. Christian and I, as members of the bargaining team, we want to ask council to see if in an effort to reach a final fair and equitable contract, if council will consider making a last best final offer that the union could take to its members for an up or down vote. So that's where we are in the process. I know, uh, you know Mr. Uh, Mr. Christian and his staff have a, uh, uh, an idea of the, the different factors and economic factors, but that's where we are with respect to the process. Thank you, Mr. McTiernan. If I can now turn to Mr. Christian, if we can give maybe a brief overview of what the proposal was from the Teamsters and what our last best final offer includes. Yes, Mr. Rowley. Um, just some of the high level highlights from their, their proposal and what they would cost the, the residents of Bethel Park. 
Uh, the Teamster 205 proposal for the first year, the contract was $5 an hour, like Mr. McCarran said, and, and for every year thereafter um, was $1. $1. <coughs> That proposal across the board wages alone would equate to $2.436 million over the life of this contract. That is equivalent to a real estate tax increase of $148.50 or a 36% increase for each resident of Bethel Park. That doesn't even reflect the substantial cost of the other improvements for the wage, uh, specific categories and other benefits the union is also requesting. The union's pension demands would increase the unfunded liability of the non-uniform plan by an estimated $324,000. That does not take into account the uh, increase the annual municipal minimum obligation, which is about approximately $50,000 more per year. That payable, take off those easier. Um, that would also be payable strictly by, by uh, contribution from the general fund. This again is an undue burden on the residents of Bethel Park most of which do not have a defined pension benefit pension plan or guaranteed with guaranteed monthly benefits. These costs cannot be absorbed by the Bethel Park budget. They are not proposed in the budget. They are not in with the tax and current tax uh, millage rate for the Beth residents of Bethel Parks. Our counter proposal started off with an increase of our wages for the bargaining unit members of 3% for 2022 and an increase of 2.75 for each of the last three years of the contract. That is a total wage increase of 11.25%. That is higher than all other previous contracts. All the previous contracts were at 2.5% across the board. These wage increases are very fair, especially because they're in addition to those regular annual wage increases that our employees have received for many years. These wage increases are on the very high end of our budget, but they are still within our grasp of the 2022 approved budget. Uh, Bethel Parks offer also increases life insurance and sickness and accident insurance. Uh, some of our proposed increases are very modest in nature. We will still be the, one of the lowest in the South Hills. Um, some of these proposed settlements uh, take into account our, our, what we consider our near peer communities. If you take into consideration Mount Lebanon and Upper St. Clair, both of which have a 20% and a 60% higher median average income, higher than Bethel Park residents. Taking all that in consideration, we truly believe this is a very fair and operational budget of our wage increases and um, the contract negotiations and settlement for the, for the proposed unit. Thank you, Mr. Christian. Is there any discussion from council at this time? Mr. Murray. Mr. Council Magno. As a representative of Ward 1 and um, all my constituents in, in Ward 1, I, I cannot, um, you know, support a 36% 30, tax increase for those residents of Ward 1 or all the residents of Bethel Park. Um, it's just uh, incomprehensible for me to, uh, to vote um, for something like that. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Consul Magno. Any other discussion? I just have a couple comments. I, I, first off, we want to be fair, and I think in all the contract negotiations that we've done, whether it's with the Teamsters or with others, it, it, it's a fair offer. Number two is I have to look at this about the residents' ability to pay these tax bills. Our 2020, and I know it was during the pandemic, our collections on real estate were actually below where they were in 2019, and, and there's people out there struggling to pay the tax bills and to increase significantly the, the property tax for the municipality would really have an undue burden. I also look at it from the ability for our residents to pay. Where are we there, uh, compared to some of these other communities that have been mentioned as far as wage comparison? Uh, Mr. Christian mentioned uh, some of our neighboring communities. These statistics are for 2019, the best I could find. The median average income for a Bethel Park household is $84,904. Uh, the median average income from Mount Lebanon is $132,874, a 21% higher than what the median income is in Bethel Park. In Upper St. Clair, it's $136,000. And they're at 60.8% higher than what it is in Bethel Park. So to ask the residents for a significant increase I don't think they would stand for it. I don't think I would be here 
the next time I'm up for election. And I think we want to be fair, but we also got to consider the residents, the ones that are ultimately paying the bills and paying our salaries. Is there any other discussion from council? Hearing none. Mr. Murray. I make a motion to reject the contract proposal by the Teamsters Local 205 dated September 13, 2021. Second. There's a motion by Mr. Consul Magno and a second by Mr. Hannon that we reject the contract proposal by the Teamsters Local Union 205 dated September 13th, 2021. Is there any discussion on this item? I'll just touch upon uh, the timing. We've been meeting for two months and we did have our last meeting on September 13th, or excuse me, December 13th. We left the door open to have another meeting and we hadn't heard anything. Our contract expires at the end of the year. So once again, we have to make a decision on where we stand and we just wanted the public to know under full transparency on where we're at. Is there any other discussion? Mr. Christian, would you please call the roll? Dr. Campbell. I vote yes to reject. Mr. Sensi. Yes. Mr. Council Magno. Yes. Ms. Gibbons. Yes. Mr. Hannon. Yes. Mr. McLean. Yes. Mr. Mowry. Yes. Motion passes 7-0 to reject the contract proposal by Teamsters Local 205. Mr. Mowry. Mr. Council Magno. I make a motion to approve the the municipality of Bethel Park's last best contract offer to Teamster Local Union 205 dated December 30th, 2021, subject to ratification by January 13th, 2022, by membership of the Teamster Local Union number 205. Second. There's a motion by Mr. Consul Magno, second by Mr. Hannon, that we approve the municipality of <coughs> Bethel Park's last best contract offer to Teamsters Local Union number 205, dated December 30th, 2021, subject to the ratification by January 13th, 2022, by membership of the Teamsters Local Union 205. Any discussion on this item? Mr. Christian, would you please call the roll? Dr. Campbell. I vote yes to approve the last best offer. Mr. Sensi. Yes. Mr. Council Magno. Yes. Ms. Gibbons. Yes. Mr. Hannon. Yes. Mr. McLean. Yes. Mr. Mowry. Yes. Motion passes 7 0. Are there any other discussion from Council? Hearing none, can I have a motion to adjourn? Move we adjourn. Motion by Mr. Hannon. Second. And second, second. by Ms. Gibbons. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Meeting adjourned. Good night, everyone.